Well, I don't know when this video, where this video is going to even go. So I'm going to say good morning in case it's just on its own. Um, I am about to go get tested for COVID-19. I'm filming it because I want other people to know exactly what it looks like from somebody who does not have any motive or anything to gain from showing you. Um, I'm doing this as part of Project Baseline. I want to um, do my part. I don't have any reason to get tested other than I'm a healthcare worker and I have come in contact with people. So by that being said, I don't have any symptoms. I'm not displaying any, but I think it's important since I have come in contact with people to just know so that way I am not a danger to anyone or to my family or anything like that. So I'm, I don't think it'll be a problem um, with the camera on. I've seen other people recording it. Um, I guess if they tell me to turn it off though, I have to to abide by that, but it's only gonna be on me. You know, um, the other person that's in it, I'll do my best to not get them on there, but I'm gonna show the whole thing. So if I start crying because they come at me with this giant swab, you're gonna see it. Um, but the important thing is, is that I'm going through this for myself and for my family and for anybody that I'm going to come in contact with. So I encourage everyone, if they're able to, to please do the same because until people get tested, we really won't have an idea of, you know, mortality rates as far as actual statistics go because we need people to get tested to have a completely random representative sample. So I am here at the Rite Aid. They have, I can see how they have everything like kind of set up where you pull in. Um, I watched this video on it. I don't know if you can see it. See those little orange cones right there? I watched this video and they uh, said you have to do like several different check-ins. So I'm about to go and do that because my appointment's coming up. <sighs> yeah, so wish me luck. <laughs> Normally I don't drive with just the camera on because I don't want it to be a distraction. Why is that window down? I thought you weren't supposed to have windows down. Somebody has their window down. I don't like that. Maybe he's telling someone where they have to go because they haven't signed up to get tested. It seems like that might be it. Okay. Okay, so I didn't roll my window down. He actually has a sign that says, please keep car windows rolled up. So clearly the person before me, they had their car window rolled down. Um, that was not a good thing. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I am now pulling up to the second checkpoint. There were a few people ahead of me. She's got like this little booklet that's laminated and I think she might be asking questions. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but I wonder what's happening here. It's really interesting to watch. So now there's a basket. Oh, I see, I see. So you actually watch them get your testing gear ready. Interesting, so we know that they're not using a bad sample. So I guess I'm just gonna pull up here. She's putting on new gloves too, that's really awesome. Man, I have mad respect for these people. It's got to be really cold outside. They're all wearing masks. They all have gloves on. Her nose isn't completely covered, though. But at least my window will be rolled up. Okay, so I had to hold up my ID and my reference number to the car again. And she flipped a sign that said, Please wait, we need to check your information. So she's got like this big like file of facts type thing. So she's looking for me right now, which she did find me. It seems like the person in front of me, they are having an issue with something. It looks like she might be testing herself, to be honest. Ah, she's doing a self-test and it looks like I am not getting a self-test. Eesh. Oh, I am getting a self-test. Basket. The top basket is just a paperwork, so it can grab both of them. Okay. So the bottom one, there's a swab and a bio, okay? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do the nasal swab? Yeah. So yeah. I have to push it all the way in? Not all the way, halfway in there and two swords and hold it there. I'll count out 15 for you. Okay, okay. What's this for? That's after we do the swab, we just put it in there and we'll just close it up. Okay. So I'm pulling it out. Okay. okay. So we'll start with one nostril, we'll repeat on the other. So okay. Give it two swirls and hold it in. So how far in should I go? Halfway through the nostril. Halfway? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right there. Hold it there. Two swirls. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm gonna repeat on the other nostril now, okay? You can take a second if you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You can take it out now. <coughs> Woo! Yeah, it sure does. Okay. Open the vial now. Okay. And the swab kind of goes halfway in. Don't okay. put it all the way in. Kind of halfway in. Halfway in. And if you bend it to the side, it's just snap off. Okay. Just bend it all together to the side. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Just like that. Sometimes if you do both, there you go. There you go. Close the lid on back in there. Your test is all done. Okay. Okay. So two to five days, you'll get an email. But if it's a positive, they'll call you and let you know too. Okay. And let your doctor know about the results. Okay. I will. Yes, thank you. you thank you guys for being out here. Okay, so it's over. My nose still tickles a little bit. I feel so much better. They were so organized. I watched them. They were cleaning everything while they were like doing it. They had somebody disinfecting everything. They were changing gloves. I The only thing was the car in front of me who kept rolling her window down. And then the one girl, she maybe she had like an issue and she couldn't wear the mask all the way. But my window didn't even get rolled down with her, so I'm not even worried about it. Um, anyway, I like I said, I did this for Project Baseline. I definitely recommend you guys doing this. Um, it was easy. It did tickle. It did go up pretty far. Um... <laughs> I can still kind of feel it in there, Whew. but it was worth it. It's worth it to know and, you know, so I can help get these correct numbers out there. So if you're able to get tested, I encourage it and just do your part so we can get through this. I know that a lot of people don't like staying home and I sure don't. I miss my family so much. I miss my family downstate. You know, I have a lot of different opinions, and some of them do, but I still love them dearly, and I don't want them to get sick. Um, you can't make somebody do something they don't want to do, though. That's why you have to respect each other's opinions. I do hope that the majority of the people do understand that one life is worth it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, post them below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.